Find those travels as you can for one last time in 2019. What's going on, everyone? Welcome, Goglings, Gogorifics, Gog peoples. I'm glad you liked the song, Pirate Jade. Thank you so much. And thank you to those of you who have listened to that song, uh, as I've done that as my introduction pretty much almost every time, except for when we're doing D&D, when we do different D&D stuff. But I hope everyone is doing well and is looking forward to a closeout 2019 Pen and Pixels. It is episode 206, a show that we do here every Tuesday from 4 to 7 p.m. Eastern on uh, here on GOGcom's Twitch channel um, uh, that focuses on story and narrative in games and doing work on Return of the Obra Dinn. Um, and I just got done playing a really thoughtful game, which is available on GOGcom, by the way, called Event Zero on my channel, which my chat had chosen for me. And so I have another thoughtful game from another era and time period, etc., um, that uh, we're going to be talking about today. Um, although I am not going to be the last streamer tonight because I am actually going... Actually, no. Well, it depends. According to UTC, um, I am the last streamer of 2019 because Dizzy Plays, who's going to be coming at you uh, to deliver you the moon with Deliver Us the Moon, uh, which is going to be coming, is happening allegedly at midnight on January 1st, 2020, according to UTC. So from my point of view, I will not be uh, finishing up by then. I'll be finished by 7, and I'll have another 5 hours to go in 2019. But for those of you who are on UTC, I am the last of the 2019 GOG streamers. I am honored. I will do the best I can to um, to ring out the new year with style, um, and to do so by doing what we usually do, which is to focus on story and narrative and stuff like that. Before I get there, just a couple of reminders. If you haven't done so already, please consider following us here on GOGcom. We really appreciate that. Please consider subscribing to us here so you can get some of those awesome things um, with uh, various things, awesome um, uh, custom sub badges and of course the sub emotes and custom things that you get that way. Plus, of course, it helps support us here uh, on the channel, all of the streamers here. And while I'm on that subject, please consider clicking through and to all of the individual streamers because we most of us have our own Patreons and subsystems and things like that, which we help as well. So that would be lovely. But Happy New Year to everyone. Happy 2019 that just was and Happy 2020 to come. Uh, 2019 was an eventful year. A lot of stuff happened. Um, both good and bad, but I look forward to what I hope will be. It's a very important 2020 for the world, and I think it'll be a 2020 that we will see in together, and so I'm glad for that to happen. We got work to do, but I'm also looking forward to doing it. So let me turn on that, and let me say hi to everybody. Um, and let's just be clear that for 2020, yeah, exactly, 2019 was a year, but there were tons of good games that came out and more games coming out in 2020. And let me just remind everybody, this shirt, which I've shown before, and I think I've worn before on this stream, Naysayer's Gonna Naysay, is a picture of uh, the original design of a helicopter, which was designed by Leonardo da Vinci. And it turns out that this model that he designed is completely functional. And if they had had the technology to actually like use the machines to build it, this would have worked. He also built a submarine, which also would have worked. He also built bridge designs, which also would have worked. And oh, by the way, while I'm on the subject, he also painted one of the most famous paintings uh, known. He also was a sculptor. Um, so he just did everything all the time. Like, yeah, this is a viable, this design is a viable design for a helicopter. It's a viable design. Now, you need to have like an engine for it and everything else. But they they proved, I think it was MIT guys, that scientifically proved that this thing would actually work. So, um, but why am I, what's up Inquisitor? Good to see you all. Now, why am I talking about that? Because the 2019 that just passed was difficult um, for a lot of people, both personally and otherwise. But 2020, I think looking forward, has a lot of good things to recommend it. And so what I want to say to all of you today, without getting too political about anything, is in 2020... I hope you will have registered to, all of you living in dem democracies, which will be most of you listening to this or watching this, you need to vote. You need to vote all the time, every time. Your voice needs to be heard. You also need to organize and organize together. And that's the other thing I want to convey, which is the message of working together as a community. This is something which is very important to me on my own channel, and I think it's important for us here. I think Pyron Jade does a very good job at bringing us together, as Outstar did before her, as bringing us together as a team. I genuinely like all of my fellow GOG streamers. They're really awesome, a really fun group of diverse, crazy people that does all kinds of crazy games and things. And I think that community 
community is one that I'm very happy and proud to be a part of. And I want us all to sort of look at the communities of which we are a part and reach out to more going forward. Um, because the best way to accomplish anything that we're going to accomplish in 2020 is by doing it together. So let us work collectively as a community, both as a gaming community and then in our families and our local communities, our real life communities where we actually live. Let's strive to reach out to each other and work together in 2020. And if we can do that, I think we will have a very good 2020. I'm excited for that coming forward. On the game side, we are continuing with Return of the Obradin today um, on this channel, and I will continue that next week as well. The next D&D with GOG is not scheduled for a few weeks, basically to give Tasty Chai a chance for her baby to get a little bit, even a little bit older and get her even a little more adjusted to the schedule. And she told us that she thinks that should work out okay so that we will have Chai back with us. And again, we want to give a shout out to Chai's baby for not arriving when it was supposed to. Um, her baby was a little, a couple weeks late and we want to thank her for that so that we could get in our last D&D session. And that is, you know, that really, I think, shows you that, that, that shows you that she's already raising the child right before the child was even born. I mean, I think, I think that's all. Um, I, am, <laughs> I am very, very excited uh, to welcome the whole crew back with D&D and GOG. So that's going to be a good time. Yes, little espresso, exactly. Um, but anyway, so uh, having said all of that, it is time for us to do this thing. Now, I should mention, I saw someone mention spoilers. I don't mind people working with me. Um, I don't mind people working with me and giving me some suggestions here and there. Uh, in fact, you know, it's, it's okay to give suggestions. The only thing I don't like, I see Kilgore is here, and I know Kilgore is very, for himself, anti-backseat. I'm not quite as anti-backseat as that, but I would like it for people not just to run the game for me. So, you know, if you're guessing along with me, if I'm like, man, what about this? And you're like, oh, what about this? That's cool. Please do not, however, one thing I do not like in a game like this is to be spoiling things unless I specifically ask. So if you played this game before, please don't be like, oh no, that dude was killed by this. Enter that. Like, please don't do that. Let me, as they say, let me color my own coloring book, please. Um, I will let you know if I need help. And if so, believe me, I will let you know if there are concerns. And maybe I will need your help. Who knows? Um, because we're getting to the part of the game now where everything is really about putting things together. There's no more scenes to watch. There's no more extra clues to find. Now it's just about combining things based upon previously existing scenes, which is going to make it a little bit harder, I think, because I already took care of some of the easy ones. So when we go through this, we're going to try to solve the easy ones first and then kind of work upwards and hopefully manage to get there. So we're, we're looking forward. It's going to be good times. So, But let's do it. Uh, the time has come for Return of the Oberdin. So with no further ado, let us make it happen. And let's make sure that I turn on my GOG alerts, which are now on. And I think that's all I need to do for that. Okay. Let us make it happen. Turn of the Obra Dim. Let me move that over there. Okay. All right. There we go. Lovely. All right, let's do it. Bum, bum, bum. I didn't realize, by the way, that uh, Lucas Pope also did the music for this. I mean, not that it's very complicated music, but still, I'm like, that's cool. So many of these, like, single programmer people doing incredible indie games now. Guys with uh, Undertale, the guy who programmed Axiom Verge completely by himself. Um, you know, Lucas Pope, who did this in Papers, Please. So it's good stuff. All righty. So, yes, now, let's take a look at the book. So we've got 18 fates figured out so far. So what I need to do is go through and figure out these other triangles and stuff like that. I've got... So this thing is... I, I want to make sure that I'm right about this. Because I'm, if I'm right about these two, then I only need one more to finish... To, like, wrap those three. And all of this is all whatever. So these are the ones that I wasn't sure about. So I'm going to run up here. Yeah, I am the culprit in a serial killer. Nice, nice. Yes, exactly. One of your favorite recent games? Nice, man, Moose. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely enjoying it. Yeah, poor Coven guy. Although, at least you're hanging out with us, right? I mean, at least there's that. This guy has three stars to solve. Okay. So, we don't even know if that guy's right. Because um, he could be the carpenter. This one is two stars. Let me try to find... Okay, let, let's try to do this a different way. Let's try to find the single... 
star ones. Do we even know who any of these people are? Martin Parrot. This guy's one star. So, the thing is, we know about this. We know for sure that this guy is from Formosa. We know that he was shot by a gun. But the thing is, we still don't know who shot him. Because this guy was killed. Um, this guy was killed. But we couldn't find... I still can't figure out who the guy was that actually did it. Um... I think it was... Oh, it might have been Witterall. Actually, wait a minute. You know what? Could it have been Witterall? Where'd you go? Oh, wait. Now, that's the captain. He didn't shoot him. Okay, by an unknown attacker. Yeah, a little bit, which I think is part of the design of that. Um, okay, we're going to go back there. All right, so, right. So I have to just go straight that way. This is the guy. Okay. Murder. you have been found guilty by self-confession. So this guy right here. As captain of this ship, and by the authority this of one the right East here. This is the guy. And thus the crown of England. I sentence you to death by firing line. This guy. Who is that guy? Mr. Wolf. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, killed by... Okay, he was killed by the captain. Okay. He was killed by the captain. Who is this guy? Unknown soul. Who are you? Are you? He's in 17 memories. You'd think I would know. Killed by someone. So if I can find out who the hell this is, then I can not only figure out... Yeah, I know he was killed by Witterall, so I can lock that down, but also I can figure out the other guy. So I get two fates in one. But I gotta figure out who this dude is. Okay, so... When you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. In. Fire. Okay. Right, so. So that was him. So the crew. Right. Sketches of life above the Overden, right. So, this is the guy. Who are you? All right, let me, let me see if I can figure the fin Perished in the End Part 2. Alright, so that's up front.
Right. So. That's a lie, but he never gave a name. All right, so that doesn't help me. Wait, who? Two others are present. Who is the other one that was present? Who else was present? You. Who the hell are you? Where were you? Ah, this dude. Okay. What are you? I mean, not that that proves anything. They do, it does have some really good music. See, the thing about this is, is that all these guys are in a bunch of these things because there were a lot of people around, but it doesn't tell me anything yet. All right. So I got to leave here. That doesn't tell me anything yet. I think so. Yeah, but see, part of what it's trying to do here is to make it feel like it's this old school kind of uh, look. Mirinda, you know, like that's part of what he's trying to do. Because there's actually some remarkable detail in a way, despite, you know, the way that it looks. All right. Right, okay. Show memories on desk map. Uh, okay, so still looking for this guy. All right, so I'm here right now. I just did that one. Okay, what about this? Oh my god, Coven. <laughs> this is the first one that I saw was this guy. Open the door! Kick it in. Unless we break it down and take more than those shells. You bastards may taste exactly what I give you. Yeah, William Hoskett was shot with a gun. So who are you? I wonder if he's the bosun. Could he be the bosun? I mean, uh, not the bosun, the, um, the steward? Could be the steward, I guess, but that's weird. Um. Okay, I literally just forgot what part of the memory this was. Was that part two? Part one. Damn it. That sucks. Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Oh my god. That sounds horrific. Okay, so that's part one. That doesn't help. Um what was chapter ten? What was chapter nine? Escape, 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 escape. All right, so let's go back to this. All right, let's go back to the crew. Let's go here. Let's go talk to... I wish that we could say, mm, I wish that we could do it by portrait. <laughs> like, I see the picture of it, but. Okay, so he was killed by. Ugh, no, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, 
Um, um. No. This guy. All right. So we've got that. First memory is what? Yeah, see, I need to find fewer than that. <clears throat> I need to find fewer than that. I need to find. No, excuse you. I need to find fewer ones than that. What about... I wonder if he's going to be on the escape one because he comes in afterwards, so maybe escape is worth looking at. This guy. <clears throat> oh, really, Coven? <laughs> Let them go. We need part six. That's that guy, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we need to escape part six. We need escape part six. So. Five, six. Who was present? Ah ha ha ha. Okay. Escape part six. In the midshipman cabin. So he might be a midshipman then. Alright, so he might be a midshipman. So gun deck. Alright, let's go down to the gun deck. Because he might be... Escape part six. I know, right? <clears throat> oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. Tell, tell Pete's mother I, I, I tried my best. I to pull him back to save him. You tell her yourself. <laughs> Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. That's this guy. What are you doing here? Actually, wait a minute. He said Brendan. Okay. Ock, no. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Brennan. Could he be Brent? Could this guy be Brennan? Is that what he means? Here's this guy again who comes in with him. He must have hit someone already. And there are, by the way, different ones that you can use. Like that. But I just like this one the best. Um... 
Okay. So that guy's hard, but I don't need him so much as I need the others. William Hoskett was the first mate. Brennan. Is that so is this because he hears his name? I wonder if that means that he's Brennan. Is that possible? Henry Brennan. Might be a seaman. Well, let's figure that out. If if that's him. All right. Uh, if that's the case, then if he was shot by Henry Brennan, were you shot by Henry by Brennan? No, can't be him then. Well, actually, probably can't be him. Brennan. That's kind of, that's a big guess anyway, just to assume. Yeah, that's, that's. <sighs> okay, that can't be right. Henry Brennan. No, nope. unknown. Darn it. Okay, so it's not Henry Brennan. You're looking that way. Where the hell is Brennan? Did he kill this guy? Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's enough information to work on the basis of yet. All right. So let's forget about that. Yeah, exactly. I don't I don't think it's that. Okay, so let's see. Unknown soul. Memories, right. Let's escape part six. What about escape part five? Ah, right, 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 right. Okay, escape part five. So get out of here. Escape part five. What's a wish? So the same guy killed this dude. Okay, so he definitely, um, probably not Lost Edge, no. Although, I mean, it would be interesting to see if there's like a run that you could do where you try to do as few checks of things as possible. You know what I mean? Like, there's, there's, there's like, there's no, in terms of like a speed run, you know, like I could imagine an interesting speed run of this game, basically. What's all this, you damn fool? Okay, so then I gotta go backwards. I gotta try to... Let's try um, Escape Part 4. So our boy's been busy. That guy murdered a couple people. Yeah, exactly, Chaucer. Alright, Part 4.
Part four. Part four is like right there. This guy blew his head off. Alright, so he was shot, but then where... So he must have been... Where did that... Okay, so where did the guy come from to knock him out? Unless they were working together. He was some mate or something. Well, we know for sure that this guy was... He was shot. We know that much. Shot with a gun. We know that. Um... Who else was here? Okay, so he was here somewhere. Question is where? Where are you? He is here someplace. Where is this guy? Where is our particular individual? Can okay, so he's not he's not anywhere in here. What if he's up the stairs? Ah. There's our guy. Okay, so that's part four. He's going downstairs. Who the hell are you? You're one of the mates. Okay, so you were going downstairs. Ugh, I find the... The book I find sometimes difficult to navigate, and it's kind of frustrating. Okay. Captain Cannot be trusted. You have a plan. Mutiny, fresh bastard, no. So this guy was going to commit mutiny. All right. Okay. So that would suggest that we could try part three. And our guy's there again. Oh, we just did that before. Okay. So then what about part two? Here's our guy again. Paul, look out. All right, I need to go back to part two. Escape part two. Getting this guy is going to help a lot. Because he did so much stuff. He was a busy bee, our mister, whoever he is. So, escape part two. Okay, uh, escape part two. This one. Is that part two? Yeah. Last one. Move quick. You not take the last part. Paul Moss was killed with a sword. 
unknown attacker. Who the hell are you? There's you again. Oh, man. Hello, uh, uh, Awogaret. So I gotta go again. Yeah, so they were talking... Okay, so here's where the two of them were talking about mutiny against the captain. He was listening in, then was like, mutiny, and got into a fight with him, blew his head off. Um, in the meantime, upstairs, this person's trying to take the boat and got stabbed by whoever this guy is. Um, we still don't know yet, but I'm still trying to track down this dude is the one that I care about. So let's go back to part one. <laughs> All right. Part one. No, 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 no. Part one. Right. Okay. This guy was German, so... But he wasn't present in this one. Alright, so I better leave that behind. Let's go back to the front. Let's go to the crew. Uh... Right, he's definitely the bosun. Okay, uh, let's see. So, where's my thing here? Where's the guy? This thing is what I want. You. 17 memories. Right. Okay. So there was the escape. See, what I'm trying to do is look for ones where there's not a lot of these guys around. Okay, the end. That was the end of him. The end part one. Soldiers of the Sea. Seven others were present. No, it doesn't help. Um, Soldiers of the Sea Part 1. 14 others were present. That's not good. On the gun deck, 6 others were present. Still not including our guy. 15 others were present. Yeah. All right, so if that's not... We only know he was killed with a sword by Captain Robert Witterell. Um, okay. And... Soldiers of the Sea Part 1, Part 2. He was in Murder Part 2. We know that. The Doom Part 3, the Doom Part 4. We just looked at these escape ones. It's the Doom Part 3 and Part 4. Six others were present. That still doesn't help us. All 
right, I guess that's worth checking out because there's only four others that were present. Or, yeah, four other people that were there. So, where is that? Gun deck? Doom Part 4? Okay. So, gun deck. Oh man, that doesn't help me. Alright. Well, darn it. Okay, so then we're going to do this another way. So instead we look... No, it was the, the beast was... The kraken was reaching through. Yeah, pretty much everyone on this ship did not have a good time. That's pretty much it. I'm looking for is anything with names. Anything with names or identifying information. All right, Syed, but we already figured him out. Um, okay. Okay, Charlie. Charlie. All right, do we have a Charlie? No, 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 no. Okay, that was... Um Shoot, what was that? I think it was bitter cold. Thank you for the follow. Titanium Phoenix. Welcome to GeoGcom. Uh, okay, so that's not good. Um, maybe... Okay, on the Orlop deck. Okay. A bitter cold part three. That's what we need. Uh, bitter cold part three. We're gonna have to skip that other guy. We don't have enough information yet. Okay, Orlop part three. Alright, Orlop deck. Which I think is below the gun deck. Right. Right, here we go. That's our here. All right, so So he's got to be Charlie. Yeah, true to stone it's stone of red. I'll cut a troll when you've done it. That's the bosun's mate. I think. There's no other Charlie, is there? Or is there? Oh, no, there is. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Never been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. Um. And 
that would make him maybe the bosun. Soldiers of the Sea, Part 5. Alright, so let's get out of here and let's check Soldiers of the Sea, Part 5. Uh, you said you never saw a monkey? Monkey. Soldiers of the Sea, Part 5. Nope, that's wrong. Soldiers of the Sea, Part 5. Alright. I really wish you could zoom in on that picture. Uh, let's see. So middle of the deck. Wait, what deck? Oh, also on the Orlov deck. Right, okay. Alright, this guy was killed by this monster. Looks like he was spiked. If that's who that was. I mean, he definitely was, but it also could be the other Charles. It could be Charles Hirschtick or it could be Charles Minor. Whoops, 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 whoops. Not that guy. No, no. This guy. Charles Hurstick spiked by a terrible beast. What else was he in? Soldiers of the Sea Part 5, A Bitter Cold. That's the one I just did. Soldiers of the Sea Part 4. And Unholy Captives Part 2. Okay, so... Soldiers of the Sea Part 4. And Unholy Captives Part 2. Twenty-eight others were present? Oh my god, man. He was definitely spiked by a terrible beast. Man, why would they think that this is... They, the, the fact that it's one triangle suggests that it's easy to figure him out. And I'm like, really? What are you judging that based on, sir? He's done. Don't know anything about that yet. He's done. He's done. He's done. 
This guy is the one we're trying to we tried to figure out before, but we still don't know who that other guy is. This guy's got to be a Chinese guy. When the dude calls out for Brennan. Okay, I'll see if I can do that. Why though? What what was that? How is that going to assist on the open sea? Unless he was burned. Is that possible that he was burned? Are you burned maybe and not spiked? I can't tell. Like, it looks like he's spiked too, doesn't it? I mean, he could have been burned. No, because he'd be French. He definitely was not that. Pretty confident he's probably that, but... I don't know. He looks... He was definitely spiked, though. I mean, he may also have been burned, but he was definitely spiked. Yeah. Either way, that doesn't help us with everything else. Alright. Multiple death choice are allowed? Okay. Alright, well. So. Alright, so. Let's keep looking. Alright, so you're done. Right. You're done. Okay, we're still looking for that other guy. That guy's three triangles. That's too hard. Thank you, uh. Neek West One. Welcome. Uh, happy New Year, Gogglings. Happy DRM Free New Year. Yes. Welcome, Darth Sisu. How are you? Okay, Spear, that's three triangles anyway. That guy's done. Three triangles. That woman's done. That person's done. That guy's done. Whoops. Three triangles and three triangles. Three triangles. Two triangles. I'll come back to him. Done. One triangle. Okay. Why are you supposedly easy? Unholy Captives Part 4. Okay. Unholy Captives in the cargo hold. Alright, let's get down there. Unholy Captives is down here. Hey, what's up, Cat Pig? Hello, hello. John. Okay, so torn apart, I'm assuming. Whoops, no, no, no. By a beast. But who is he? Oh, the Captain Steward. Who are you?
20 years my steward. That means that he's got to be the captain steward. I wonder if he's supposed to be John. No, because... Oh yeah, he's the steward. Okay, fine. Wait. Right, he's the dude. Right, 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 right. That guy. No, no, that would be a fourth mate. He needs to be like a midshipman or... He's the only John? Really? The only John. Yeah, is the... Oh, no. Hey, welcome, Vico. All the best to you and yours as well. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's the cut list. Oh, you're right, I guess? You might be right about that. Was. By the steward. Who we just confirmed is who? Who's this guy? We just said he was Philip. By Philip. That would be by the steward. Okay. Okay, the problem is... Perishment of holy captives. So, keep pressure here. Hold them on there. These ungodly beasts carry a curse. Hold him down. What madness is this? 20 years, my steward. Never a doubt on your sanity. Explain yourself. Tie him up and put him in a lazarette. So, he's got to be referring to 20 years, my steward. Those ungodly beasts carry a curse. So, the guy must have attacked him. Hey, what's up, Takanjia? So, yeah, so he... So that means that the steward tried to kill him because he thought he was going to turn into a beast. And so... All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Why would he refer to him as John, though? Okay. Definitely not a passenger. He's a member of the crew somehow. We know the rest of this. He's not from China. Blah, 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 blah. This is that part that I come to in a lot of logic puzzles where I don't know anything. 
and everything that I don't know has to be put up against everything other thing that I don't know. Hold him down. What madness is this? 20 years, my steward. Never down your sad knee. Explain yourself. The guy's yelling. Tie him up and put him in the lazarette with those things. He may have find his senses. Then the guy yells. That's the captain, right? Yeah. Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on. No, it's William, right? So, John. He could have been talking to his mate. He could have been talking to his mate. Is there a mate named John? Yeah, John Davies. All right, so let's go back to this. Okay, on only capped is part four. Right, keep pressure here. Hold him down. What madness is this? Blah, 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 blah. Explain yourself. All's fine, John. Been in worse spots, I think. Suggest that that other guy would be the mate. Whoops. No, that's the first mate, and we know that's the first mate. Okay. Semi-spoilers? Um... No, it's okay. I'm, I'm good for right now, Miranda. Yeah, I can look at his other memories. It's so confusing, though. All right. Five memories. Other memories. Oh, great. That's a useful one. The entire crew is practically there. Okay, what, else, what other ones were with him? Unholy Captives Part 1. 15 others, great. I'm guessing, I mean, apparently, I don't know what the John is thing. Yeah, the guy being dragged away is the steward. What's up, Mr. Yeah, the guy being dragged away is definitely the steward. You can tell that based upon the things they're talking about. Now, I don't know who's steward, but it's a pretty good guess it's the captain's steward. Um, although I guess it could be, could be William's steward. Anyway, I'll come back to that in a second. All right, so, Captain's part two, part three, part four. Okay. Like Patrick Stewart. All right. All right. Okay, William Hoskett. So who was his mate? Because I guess it could be William Hoskett. I mean, uh, his steward, rather. So it could be Paul Moss from Wales. Okay, now wait a second. Someone can actually help me with this part. I gotta go back into this to get this. And I wish this was a little easier to navigate. Alright, so. This. This. Uh, this. 
this, this. Okay. Era Darar. Is that Welsh? What is this? Can someone help me out here? Where's Darksaber when you need him? Is this Welsh? That's Swedish? Okay. If that's Swedish, then that definitely confirms. So that's definitely Swedish? Okay. So if that's Swedish, that confirms it. Because this guy, Philip Dahl, is from Sweden. And in fact, I think he's the only one... He is the only one on the entire ship from Sweden. So that's got to be who that is. So that's definitely him. Philip Dahl, the captain's steward. Wait, do we not know when he dies? His, de his name is definitely Philip Dahl, but... So we know that that guy's Philip Dahl, so that's something. We got some information. Um... No, I know, I know. But I want to come back to this because I want to know about this guy. Why does it say unknown? We have no idea what happened to him. Right, yeah, he might not have been it. But I'm trying now to think about this guy now that I have information about him. Share memories on deck map. What happened to him? Did he just disappear? No. Mm, really? Oh, that's frustrating. Okay, back cover. Right. All right. I'm trying to find out the whole point of the game. Yes, I know that is terrible. Yes. I'm aware. Um, hmm. Where's the missing persons thing? Where's the chapter with the whole missing persons business? Right, 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 right. Yeah, but I just don't want to get sidetracked on that for a minute. I want to get, I want to follow this down the line. He was thrown in with a lazarette, so we don't know what happened to him. Yeah, that's him. But we don't know what happened to him, so... Oh my god, there's too much stuff going on in my head. Um... Still don't know what happened to him either. Okay, back of the gun deck. Yeah, I'll come back to that one. Like I said, this is going to be hard because these are all just like... What? See, that's where his leg is. So his leg is over here. So I have to remember that. Actually, you know what? You know what? Before I leave this mo behind. Keep pressure here. Yeah. Where? 
where am I on this? I don't understand. Where am I on this boat? In this memory. Like, where is that stump? Okay. Where the hell am I right now? Unholy Captives Part 4. This is the cargo hold. Okay. This is the cargo hold. Keep pressure here. Let's see what? So maybe part three? Must be part three. Must be part three. So... Okay, Orlop deck, Orlop deck, Orlop deck. That's this deck, whoops. here. Alright. So. Alright, this is the thing with the rigging where that guy got killed. I already solved that, but. Ah, there we go. So was his arm... That, so that's the guy who in the next part of this... In the next part of this, that guy had his leg... Uh, was His leg was not there. So was his leg ripped off as he fell? Oh, you know what? No, I completely forgot about the raffles. Um, we could definitely run one to Kanji. I completely forgot. Sorry. This game is not easy to take my focus off and do anything else. Um, I would be happy, though, to do that. Uh, and there'd be a lot of good possibilities. So, um, yeah, let's run a raffle for... What? What game? Man, I need to check and see what games we've got, though. Oh, man. Hold on. My brain is spinning with possibilities, and it's like... Alright, hang on. Raffles. Um, streamer thing, blah, 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 blah. Yes, yes. Okay. Um, boy, howdy. Do we have a lot of do we have a lot of games to give away, people? All right. Here we go. All right. So we are going to raffle away a copy of. Let's see. And if you wouldn't mind running this, I would appreciate it, Takanjia. So we are going to raffle off. I guess it's very appropriate for this game. Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. So we're going to raffle off a Gabriel Knight Sins of the Fathers. And if you wouldn't mind doing that, uh, Tika, I'd be much, much appreciative. Um, Sins of the Fathers. This is our last one of these, I believe, to raffle off.
Thank you. So type in raffle if you would like to win a copy of this, of uh, Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. I don't fully understand what the... Hey, um, can someone who's here, maybe Tika, you can... Can you explain to me what the column that says there's a column in the sheet that has the the code name that we've got, then there's the code, then there's the streamer, that's me, the date used, but then there's a column that says game on it? What does that mean? The game during which this was given away? Is that what that means? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to enter. What was the game I was streaming? Okay. All right. And we're going to do this crazy, weird dating si date system that you folks use, which is the day first and then the month. Okay, that's entered. So now that's all set to go um, as soon as, so I have that all set to go uh, as soon as we get this way. So this is Gabriel Knight. This is the father's. Okay, cool. Lovely. All right. So there we go. So yes, we will run this raffle for a little while longer. So type in raffle if you would like to win a copy of Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. And then if you could do me a favor and send me back my brain, that would be great. I don't understand what happened to this guy. So he fell. He obviously like his leg broke or something. Uh, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my God. He was killed with a, so he wasn't killed with a sword. So this, whoever the hell this dude is, he was torn apart? So he must have like stumbled down the stairs and then like was killed afterwards. I don't know why. <clears throat> Well, I mean, there's two Johns. There's either John Davies. Oops, damn it. Or John Naples. That's it. Yeah. All right, that's fine. It still doesn't tell us, but I mean, even if that's true. All right, I'm going to go find out about this dude. If we're right about that guy, then stuff is just so up in the air. Like, assuming that's right, and it's more likely to be right, assuming that's right, then I still don't know who did this. All right, let's see if we can find out more about Alfred Klestel. Escape part one. Which is on the gun deck towards the back. Okay. Also, this is obviously the carpenter.
That's got to be the carpenter. Which makes you the carpenter's mate. Although, for some reason, it's not showing me that that's right, correct, so... Okay. Alright, now let's get out of here. <clears throat> out of this memory. Hmm, alright, let's go find the bosun. Okay. Gun deck towards the back. Back towards the back. It's not wait. Okay. All the way in the back. There we go. Squid, where is my Frenchman? Squid's gone, your mate was torn apart. You should rest. What happened to you? This is Squid. Where is my Frenchman? The squid's gone. Your mate was torn apart. But that... This is dead. How... How did you kill it? We did it. It left with the storm. Captain came up with the hole. He said he changed it off. <laughs> and you should rest. Of course. Sad. Go stand in for nothing. So his arms ripped off, so he must have been His arms ripped off. Got him. We got something. Three more fates correct. Who'd we get right? We got him right. We got that guy right. That was the right John. And we got him right. Yes, I wasn't sure about that guy. Yay. Nice. Correct. Sweet. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Yay! Awesome, alright. It is very satisfying to get three of those right and just take three off the board. Yes, the raffle is currently open, by the way, for Gabriel Knight Sins of the Fathers, which I played way back in the day. Alright, good. Now, <clears throat> let's get back up to here. Okay. Torn apart by a beast. Now, Charles Minor was also torn apart, torn apart by a beast. We don't know who the hell it is. Who is Charles Minor? All right. Found the right John. <laughs> <clears throat> right, right, right. Yeah, not yet. We don't. Um, I need to find... I need to find Clestal. I need to find that again. Right, I already know about Clestal. There we go. I was hoping that his his guy would be the one who stands next to him because the Frenchman, the reason I was looking for this was easy now. We're in a bad way. This is good. Where is 
my Frenchman. The squid's gone. Your mate is tall. Oh, that. Okay, so his mate is French, and I was hoping to be near him. I know that much that his mate is that his mate is French, and because his mate is French, it means. That's Charles Minor, but we don't know, we like, we know what happened to Charles Minor, but we don't know who the hell Charles Minor is. We know it's not that, we know it's not that, and it's not that guy, at least I don't think so. Oh, that's Charles Minor. I wonder if I assumed that was the case because he was that close. But that might be a stretch, though. I don't know for sure that just because it shows him on this sketch right here. That's the bosun. I know that's not... We we already know for a fact that we got this right. So we know that that's Lars Linda. So that's not his mate. So I think I just assumed that might be his mate. But that's stretching it. I mean, it may not be the case. So, yeah. Yeah, he doesn't, but... I mean, we know that the bosun's mate was torn apart by a beast. For someone with a beret and a string of onions. <laughs> Look for somebody like, oh, ho, ho, ho. So, ho, ho. Look for someone like that, is that what saying? <laughs> you have to stereotype a bit in this game. Alright, anyway. Let me do this a different way. So, uh... Alright. That is or who that is yet. We should all know who the surgeon is. We don't know who the surgeon is yet? Alright, wait a second, wait a second. We should be able to figure that out. Um, where was the guy who was tied up? We were just looking at this. All right, Philip. Philip, what's his face? Philip Dahl. Three memories. Show memories. Unholy captives, no. Okay, so I need to... Mm, I'm annoyed that I hit that thing because I lost what I was doing. Okay. Philip Dahl, right. Memories, right. Show memories on desk map. Deck map, right. That's three memories. That's not the freaking... Really? Is that the one? Really? That's not the same one. No, not that one. Yes, if you wouldn't mind. I already marked it off to Kanjia, so if you don't mind sending it to me, or sending it to him, I already marked it off. It was the only one that has my name next to Gabriel Knight's Sins of the Fathers. Otherwise, I can send it after the stream, but if you don't mind doing it, that would be great. And thank you, Tika. Also, congratulations, Dimension Dude. Congratulations. Okay, so that's, that's not gonna work. Thanks, man. That is not gonna work at all. Alright, so... Okay, so if... Oh right. Philip Dahl. That's him. That's him. What are the memories? Okay. 
Okay, that's the first memory. But I need the second memory. I need the second memory. I really wish this were easier to navigate. It's really not. This guy. This guy. Okay. Show memories and deck map. That's the calling, part six. Unholy captives, part four. That's what I'm looking for. Cargo hold. Cargo hold. All right. Thank you. It's the gun deck. This is the Orlop deck, and I want the cargo hold. This way. Someday, eventually. Okay. Cargo deck. Alright. Oh, for sure. Absolutely it is. Okay. Now, there was a reason I came here. And now I'm trying to remember what it was. By Philip Dahl, the captain's steward. I came here for a reason. I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, the surgeon. That's the doctor. Gotta be. That's gotta be the surgeon. That is Henry Evans. Okay, so that's the surgeon. Uh, it's a big, enormous logic puzzle, Nyla Extensia. And that means that this guy is the surgeon's mate. He disappeared in escape. Oh, we don't know where he is. Why? Because, because look at the surgeon's bag right next to him. Look at how he's dressed. Educated with a tie, right? That's why. That guy is certainly not the surgeon. And that guy is certainly not the surgeon. So he's got to be the surgeon means he's Henry Evans and his mate would be standing right next to him. Now the only thing I don't know how to handle with these sort of like like the unknown fate thing is I don't know what I mean he could be alive he's alive in Africa he's alive in Atlantic Island he's alive in the Azores he's alive on the Canary Islands he's alive on Cape Verde He's alive in the East Indies. He's alive in Europe. He's alive in the Middle East. He's alive in the United Kingdom. Or he's alive in the West Indies. Who knows if any of that's right? We have no idea. <laughs> I was just trying to, because I know, I just, because he's, because it's hard, because he disappeared and we don't know where. So that's why. <laughs> Although I suppose we could figure out. All right, he disappeared during escape. Not at the time. See, they, they predicted what would happen to Europe, see. That's unholy captive that just did that. It's bitter cold. Soldiers of the sea. Bitter cold. Unholy captives again.
So escape two or three. All right, so we're looking for escape. All right, he took care of him. Okay, they took the last boat. Oh, he was shot. With a gun. We don't know who yet, though. Um, this guy was shot. That guy was one of the mates, I think. So is so Brennan. Surgeon's kit. Okay, so we don't know that yet. <laughs> We're bricking up the channel. Okay, so never mind that then. Um, what do we got? Charles Minor, torn apart by a beast. We just don't know who the hell Charles Minor is. We don't know what happened to Henry Evans. We have any idea what happened to James Wallace? Oh, he also disappeared. It's another guy that we don't know. Okay. Winston Smith was spiked by a terrible beast. Soldiers of the Sea, Part 3. It's already done for Nick. Okay, so if we can find... Okay, so we need to go to that because there's also a name there. So that is... On the gun deck... Which, Soldiers of the Sea, Part 3. Alright. Gun deck. Alright, Soldiers of the Sea, Part 3. That's the carpenter. Winston Smith. Yes, this makes sense. So Wim that's got to be right. Winston Smith, because he calls him the boss and says to get down, which means that he's the mate. So that means that we've got this right. This is Marcus Gibbs. So we got that right. So we got this. So this is correct. Winston Smith is the carpenter. Marcus Gibbs is the carpenter's mate. So we know that he was spiked by a terrible beast. We can see that right there. So that's correct. Winston Smith is correct. So we know that that's correct, and we know that, that that's his mate, although we don't know yet. We haven't confirmed that he was spiked. But if we get this right, then we could nail those three at one time. Oh, someone yelled out someone? Well, he, the, the thing about doing for Nick... 
So, he's already done for Nick. That's Nicholas Botterill, I think, because that's the only Nick that's around. Nicholas Botterill, Nicholas Botterill. Yes. Okay, so Nicholas Botterill. So, is there another dude around here who was spiked? He's already done for Nick. That guy's not dead. Okay. So that could have been maybe the episode before? It's possible that the episode before is what, um... The episode before this one could be where Nick was taken out, but anyway. But if, so I know that this is right. If I can get him right, then it means that I'm in good shape for the other ones and I can get another three knocked out. But... Who are you? You're somebody. All right, so let me go back over to here. Okay, right. You are definitely the carpenter's mate. Perished in Soldiers of the Sea, part eight. Okay, he's in the cargo hold. Back there. All right, let me get out of here. Where's my exit? My exit. My exit up here? Yeah, there it is. Nah, I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna get thrown off. I wanna I wanna stick with this line. There's a lot of non-linear thinking that you have to do in this game, but you need to be careful not to constantly get distracted by everything. Being able to focus really helps. <laughs> because otherwise you're just like, uh Um Okay. This guy, alright. Which is Cargo hold. She's down two levels, alright. Be a spooder on the ship. By the way, we will, I think in the next hour, we'll run one more raffle. Um and then that will be that will be it. Dizzy can run a bunch too. Dizzy can run 35 of them. Distracted. Two raffles. Two raffles. That's right, Kilgore. That's the madness that is involved here. Looks like he shot him, but he got, he definitely got spiked or speared or something. Spiked by a terrible beast. That's gotta be right. Good God, are you insane? <laughs> I don't have one picked out yet. I just gave away a Gabriel Knight, um, which uh, Tika was nice enough to run. So I don't have another one yet. Um, but I'm going to do it in the six o'clock hour, which is next hour. Okay, so if I got these guys right. So I'm pretty confident I got spiked by Terrible Beast, spiked by Terrible Beast, yes. 
unless I mean, unless it's definitely something by a terrible beast, like clawed by a terrible beast, crushed by a terrible beast. This is fine, right? Like, spiked by a terrible beast should be fine. So, if those two are right, then that means that this dude... The problem is we're not 100% sure that that's the cook. I think that's the problem with that. I don't, it's sort of in the sea shanty realm, Mirinda, I would say. So, torn apart beast. Well, they can't all be right. I mean, because again, that may not be the bosun's mate. That's that's the thing that's that's screwed up about this. Is the fact that we don't know who the actual bosun's mate is. This, I need this guy's mate. And I thought it was that dude. Yeah, he's definitely Chinese, but... Yeah, we don't know which one, though. Um... Got to figure out who that guy's mate was. I was hoping it would be him. It's not him. If you need a mate, I'm here for you. <sighs> Alright, so that's not it. Um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Actually. Where was Charles? What's his name? You, Charles. All right, Charles. Bitter Cold, right? Bitter Cold Part 3? Okay. So, let me go find that again. That's on the Orlop deck. Orlop deck. Okay, Orlop deck. Or Loptic. Uh, which is up one, I think. Yeah. It's over on the port side of the ship. Alright, so one of these guys has to be the butcher. You are the butcher. But, but, how did you die? That's Soldiers of the Sea Part 6. Okay, Soldiers of the Sea Part 6. You all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. So, what you're trying to do is figure out um, who... You're trying to figure out who all the people in the crew were. Hey, what's up, Diginferno? Welcome to the future. Happy New Year, man. Um, but you're trying to figure out who was on the crew, what their names all were, and, like, what role they played in the ship, and how they died. 
and everyone in the ship died or disappeared somehow, and so you're trying to figure that out, and you have a stopwatch that allows you to go back through time and see the moment of their death, and if you put all of the moments of their death together, you could start to calculate what happened. It's kind of like a big logic puzzle. So at the beginning of the game, you do a lot of, like, tracking down clues. I now have all the clues, but now I have to kind of put them together. And so that's that's why I'm in the process of doing it. It's very much a kind of non-linear sort of game, and I... It, but it's, again, it's sort of like your thought process. Yeah, this is... Um, but you also need to have focus as well. It sure as hell looks like he's spiked. But one of these guys has to be wrong because if that's not because if that's not what happened because like it every time you get three of them correct it lists the minute you get them correct it checks them off as being definite so all these ones with check marks are definite and i don't i mean obviously the one of these guys didn't get didn't get done right Um, oh, I can't believe I did that. I mean, he was spiked. He was definitely spiked. But then that means this guy can't be Amal O'Farrell. Except he sure looks like him. I mean, he's got the butcher's apron. He talks that way. He's got, like, he in that thing, you actually see him saying, hold her down, and then I'll cut her throat and the whole bit. So... Not everyone dies. Well, yeah, but... But these guys did. I mean, this dude definitely died. Happy New Year! Happy New Year in Poland! This is... this is gotta be right. Winston Smith, Marcus Gibbs. This is definitely right. Those two were right, which is what worries me because... I mean... And technically, the more that we clear things off the list, the easier it should be, you would think. But... Although, you know what? Now we actually should be able to do something a little different here. Because... Alright, I can brute force this. It's not going to be a passenger. It's not going to be a steward.
because I know that two of the others are correct. He's definitely not from China. Um, one of the seamen. It's not from India. See, that tells me that I have to have been wrong about one of these other two. And I don't understand how I could be wrong. Well, he said Nicholas, it's done for Nick. So that says that Nicholas has been spiked. I don't even know what Nicholas looks like. I know there's no need to brute force anything, Mykos, but that's what I'm doing. So... I'm, I'm fully aware. I'm trying something to brute force it because I've got two others that I thought were correct. So I was brute forcing it a little bit. And you may not need to, but I have not figured it out yet. So that's how I did it. Um, I wonder if this guy could be the gunner's mate. Because he was also down there quite a bit. Shot with a gun by... That might also be right. Okay, escape part four. Right, that was the guy listening. That was the uh, mutinous guy. This guy. Well, who the hell is this guy? I really, really, really want to know that guy's name. Please don't tell me. But I really would love to know that guy's name because that guy killed like two other, killed at least one other person. Killed this guy and killed one other person by clubbing him. And so this would answer a lot of questions. Shot by a gun, but we don't know what kind. I don't know who did it. Over the explosions. Happy New Year. Okay, he's a midshipman. Which suggests that he's also a midshipman. Okay, so... So... This guy... Was shot by a midshipman of some kind. Was it... Peter Milroy, no. Thomas Lanka. Couldn't be Charles Hurstick. He was already dead. Man, okay, so maybe he's standing with the midshipman, but maybe that doesn't mean he's necessarily a midshipman. But we know he's one of the crew. Wait, what am I saying? He's not from China. Um... Also, he may, he may not actually be a seaman. He may be, he might be a mate. Uh, I'll check that in a minute. I'm avoid. He's obviously not Indian, so I'm avoiding those. All right. What about if he was the steward? Is there a gunner's steward? No. Or a gunner's mate? Oh, he, well, I mean, rather, no, wait, he's the gunner's mate. Yeah, he's the gunner's mate, so. Let's 
Okay. See what we can find from that. So that's gun deck. Escape part four. All right, gun deck. Where's my gun deck at? Whoops. Whoopsie. No. Gotta get out of here first of all. Okay. So, gun deck, gun deck, gun deck. Uh, no, gun deck is the highest deck besides the main deck. Okay, here's the gun deck. Back this way. This guy. And that's his hat. So that's definitely what happened. Oh, that's not the same guy. That's not the same guy. Who are you? He's one of the mates. Okay, okay, he's one of the mates, or he is, okay, not Samuel Peters. He's one of the mates or one of the officers. He's got to be one of the officers. All right, sounds good. See you next decade, Mikos. All right. No. Not that guy. I already know who that is. Not either of these. Um, helmsman? No. Not a passenger. Wow. Um... You should be an officer hat. It's fixed, Tokenita, yeah. But I mean, it's pretty intricate, so, you know. I Again, I would love to see like a speed run, though, where people try to cho like have as few double checks as possible. That would be interesting to me. You know, like to, to sort of have as few, as few sort of click overs as possible and to kind of essentially speed run it. No, I know that's not that. See, what I'm really worried about is that this should be, the minute I get it right, it's supposed to work. What is going on, midshipman? <laughs> Who are you? Right, we've got the first, we got the captain, we got the first mate, we got the second mate. That could be the third mate. Yeah, may I think basically that's true, is Terma. That could be the third mate. It's got to be an officer, and then that guy. So. Could be the third or the fourth mate. Are you the fourth mate? Are you the third mate? 
going to assume you were a fourth mate. You were stabbed. Or knifed, let's say. One of the midshipmen. Because, see, the blood coming from in here indicates that he was sitting somewhere in here over by that chair first. And... Okay, in this case, let me take a look at Escape Part 3. Escape part three. Escape. One, two, three. Which is up there. Okay, on the main deck. All right. What? What do you mean? This guy? Yeah, I did. That's the, that's the whatchamacallit. That's this guy. Gunner's mate shot with a gun. I didn't put who he was, but like... Oh, okay. Gotcha. Alright, so escape part three. Part three, part three, part three, which is on the main deck. Let's escape part three. Let them go. Who are you? Are you the wife? Are you the wife of Paul? I think you might be. Passenger. Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. Okay, anyway. Shot by. You were shot either by Emily Jackson or Miss Jane Bird. I have a very relaxing voice. Oh, well, thank you, Minnie Jane. Glad you hear that. She was shot. That's the captain. Now I forgot why I came in here. Sounds like I could do voiceovers. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. And uh, welcome to the uh, GOG community, Barishida. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, cute, cute, just charming. That's, that's, that's charming. <laughs> All right, so... Hmm. There's a lot of people that are unknown in this list. Why did I even come to this one? Oh, I think because... Can go down there, I think. 
This is why. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is why. So you stabbed this guy. Oh, you were knifed by that dude. You were knifed by the gunner's mate. So we still don't know who's there. That's interesting, though. Okay, so he saw him running out, and then he came after him, got into his struggle, and then shot him. Well, I understand why it's being done, though, Alec, in fairness. Um, it's being done for a particular re sort of effect and reason. I actually think it's fairly clear. Like, if I changed it to... Is that any better? Is that any better? Or how about that? The graphic improvements. Or perhaps this. Or, of course, Macintosh. Yeah, that's exactly why. The nice thing about Macintosh is that if you don't want to actually play the game, you can just click a button and the sparkly magic of Macintosh solves the game for you. Whoa! Now that would give me a headache if I had that on for too long. <laughs> yes. Okay, so he was knifed by him. And then he came out and killed him. So... Escape part six. Okay. Tell Pete's mother I tried my best. Okay. So that's when he got to that point. So. Well, the reason they're floating in space is because the whole thing is in a flashback, though, Alec. So, when you leave here, when you leave this little flashback memory, that goes away. So. Jaws reality distortion field. Yes, well, and it was sort of intentionally, plus an older, it's like looking at old photographs, you know. Okay, so that. That would suggest that he's a midshipman, actually. Yes. Got it. We got him right. We got Emil O'Farrell right. And we got John Davies right. Hell yeah. Okay. We're getting there. Whew. All right. Getting there. Where do we stand now? Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. That means that these guys are still wrong. So something is not right about this, and I don't know what. At least we know that... So we know that... We do know what John Davies... That that is, in fact, John Davies. So... That's got to help. So he perished in Escape Part 5. So let's find out what happened. He might have been clubbed. So let's let's see what happened to John Davies. Gun deck. Oh, it's like right there. Okay, so let's get out of here. 
All right, and it's upstairs. And see, this is the funny thing about this is that that's downstairs, but that's during this memory. So if you're not paying attention, you would be focusing on worrying about the murders that took place up here. But the information you need is really below deck. Happy New Year, Echo. Right, exactly, Mirinda. Yeah, there's an interesting difficulty balance, I agree. Okay, now, where do I need this? Gun deck. Um, escape part five. Okay, so he was clubbed by the guy that we still can't figure out. He was clubbed by the guy that we still can't figure out, except that we know he's got to be one of these dudes. Um, so let's see. He could be... He's not a midshipman. Oh, he's, he's definitely not Chinese. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I already actually know who Lars Linda was. He's not Indian. Yeah, so we still don't know what the deal is with this guy. Alright, so he was clubbed by somebody. That could still be right, it's just that we don't know the other things that are there. Right, that's him pulling himself in. And this... That's the first mate. He was trying to drag himself back to his cabin. All right, so that that took care of that. All right. All right, so we're getting there. Um, let's see. So, okay, well, that means, actually, if we know who the fourth mate is, then we ought to be able to figure out who the third mate is. And the third mate has got to be the one person that hasn't been identified yet. That's got to be the third mate because we've used up all the other mates and he's standing with the rest of them. So, did he just disappear? We don't even know what happened to him. 28 others were present. That's not a good idea. Um... Okay, so he's got to be Martin Parrot, right? So, we have no idea what happened to him, huh? Hello, Red Rain. Okay. So... Doom, unholy captives. I'm looking for ones where there's few people about, because it makes it a lot easier to understand. Um, like Murder Part Two has a ton of people there, so the Doom Part Two. Yeah, it's still too many. Got to have fewer people than that. So again, Martin Parrot. Uh, the Doom Part 5. What about the Doom Part 5? Four others. That's not bad. All right, let's go for that one. So, the Doom Part 5. So, that's on the gun deck. Let's get out of here. All right, let's go to the gun deck. We're on the gun deck. Uh... Walk up here. 
It took me until literally, I think, an hour into last session after playing this for a couple of sessions to realize that the footprints are facing in the direction that you're going right now. I'm like, how do I know where I am on the ship? And then I, I was like, oh, my, my footprints, yes. Sigh. Okay. This guy was crushed. Alright, you were crushed by a cannon. But I don't know who you are. You could, however, be... Um... We know you're not any of those. You could be the purser. Why would you be the cur purser? That's ridiculous. You could be the helmsman. But again, that seems not likely. Um, you're not going to be a steward. You could be a midshipman. So you'd more likely be a seaman. Four other people here, including the mate. There we go. That was the mate. And he was one of the gunners, too. Problem is that I don't know he's a midshipman. Is Jane Bird? No. Emily Jackson? Uh because the top man means literally up top. Uh this is He's probably an unknown midshipman. The, um, hello, Keep Mouse. So, I still don't have enough information to go on for that guy. But anyway. Um, there was something else I was doing here, though. I was just checking out to make sure where he was. Okay, but that did not give me any information, though. She's healing over Find Your Footing. Thomas Lanka, who didn't make it. No idea who that is. Okay, so we know he was crushed by a cannon, but we don't know who he is. And we know that this guy is a mate, also because he's referred to as such, but we don't have any idea, like, what... I can't even imagine the intricacy of putting this all together, by the way. I mean, I'm sure what he did was he put together one big story, but then he's got to figure out a way to have every one of those people either disappear or be killed by something, <coughs> and who did it, and then he's got to intermix how that all works. Like, it's crazy talk. Alright, so we know that he's crushed, but that doesn't help at all. I've been trying to enter stuff that is certainty, but... Yeah, I know, who didn't make it? That would be everybody. Um... I don't understand why these aren't right. I don't get it. I really don't get it. I feel like they have to be right. Both of them, I've seen both of them. They both look like they're spiked. And like... Alright, let's see who we've got who's got a one star. A one triangle, I mean. He's two triangles. Two triangles. Three triangles. Two triangles. Two triangles. Oh, I keep doing that. 
three triangles. Three triangles. He wanted a lot more people? Oh my god. Two triangles. Don't even know who that is yet. That's one triangle, and I still don't understand how that's one triangle. I don't get it. Don't know what happened to him. He's two triangles. One triangle. Okay. So this guy should be easy. Oh, no. The guy who killed him... The guy who killed him, assuming this is right, is, is the freaking... What should we call it? Is this guy here? Is this guy? And I don't know who that guy is. So, I don't even know who that is. I don't even know who that is. Or who that is. Or who that is. Yeah. So, so the person we've got to find is this one who's the one star guy. This guy. All right. When did you die? You perished in escape part two. Okay. Paul, the first mate. Unless they're the first mate steward. Unless there's another Paul. But... There is not another Paul, so it's got to be that guy. And he's definitely killed by a sword, but the question is the unknown attacker. He's one of the mid... Well, no, he can't be these two. I've already actually ruled these guys out. I know what they look like, and it's not them. It could be him. Apparently it isn't, although I don't know for sure. Um... Could be one of the seamen. So if you do something like, um, yeah, no enhance. We do something where you get up and we're just like, uh, I think I was going to manage that. Oh no, it's, yeah, like, so let me see. So for this one, right? So this is one where he'd look at it and be like, yeah, he really felt the weight of his profession. Yeah! <laughs> and he walks away. <laughs> CSI, Obradin edition. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let me, uh, let's, let's run another raffle here while I have a chance. Do I have a, a mod here who's able to, uh, run a raffle for me? As I go find which one I'm going to use. I think you should. I think you should uh, clearly clap. Oh, thank you, Kilgore. Okay, so the raffle will be. I is here. Okay, uh, let's see the raffle that we're gonna do. I will mark down. Uh, I'm just gonna mark down the note. I will actually, yeah. I will mark down my name, but I and the uh, game, but I will not mark down the date. You understand what I mean, Kilgore? And then you can just enter the date if that's cool. So, I am going to, let's see, which one do I want to do here? I gave away a Gabriel Knight before. Um, oh, okay. Well, I happen to love this game, so. Okay, so I'm marking this right now. Um, and I'm marking the game. So the only thing I have not marked down is the date. So the thing that we're going to raffle away is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. So if you would like to get Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, which has one of the best... This is a game that you need to play with controller. Trust me, you have to. There's a reason you have to. It's not about the mechanics of the gameplay. It's about the story. The, the actual controller makes a huge difference in the story. And it's extraordinary. Like, amazing. So... 
type in raffle. If you want to see one of the most interesting endings to a game that I, to this day, use on panels to discuss what game narrative can uniquely do, what game design can uniquely do as, as narrative, you want to play this game. It's not super long. It's not, yeah, and I, I won't give anything else away about it. It's very good, though. And thank you, Kilgore. So, yeah, you just have to put the date. And then if you don't mind sending them the code, that would be great. If you want me to do that, I can. Otherwise, if you wouldn't mind sending them the code when the person wins, that would be lovely. That's what Tika did. It's excellent. Yeah. Really, really cool game. I played that a couple years ago, actually. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Kilgore. I appreciate it, man. All right, so there is the raffle, and while we are doing that, I'm going to see if I can figure out any other guys here. So, Paul Moss killed with a sword by Nathan Peters. Okay, so I need to get onto the main deck. So I need to get out of here, and then main deck. Yeah, the game does... The game, even if it didn't require it, you should absolutely play it with a gamepad. I can't explain why. You absolutely need to play it with a gamepad. I, I can't even... It's really important. So... Okay, Paul Moss, right. This guy. Escape Part 2. Where is the location of the corpse? Main deck. That's definitely Paul. Who are you, though? Why do I not know who you are? I even know who shot you. I don't think you're an unknown midshipman. I don't know who the hell you are. Happy New Year, Lone Singer. Happy New Year. Okay, who the devil are you? Are you or Paul? All right, so you're Paul. I said, Paul, look out. That makes sense. So these guys are all dressed like stewards. Steward, 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 steward. Okay. Yeah, who are you? You're not Thomas Lank or Charles Hershick. So Midshipman? No. Uh all Chinese, no. Nicholas Botterell. No, it was Walker. Leonid Volkov. Alexander Volkov. Outfits and locations. Yeah, I, I have figured as much. Lexi Topper. Whoops. Nathan Peters. I already know who Lars Linda is. It's not that. John Naples. Henry Brennan. Xander Booth, Patrick O'Hagan, 
What am I getting wrong? Is there any other person who's named Paul in this crew? Uh, there's Paul Moss, first mate steward. That's it. That's the only Paul. So that's got to be Paul. He's this first mate steward. He was killed with a sword. And so this is got the thing that gets me is that if this, what that tells me is one of those guys has got to be right. One of those got to be right. And so because one of them has to be right, that means one of the possible names, that means that I've got this wrong and I don't understand it. Like this, this guy was 100% killed by a terrible beast. I saw the picture with him on the other side like this. No, they don't intro as far as I know, Renoki, they don't introduce any new people. You just get the set of people at the beginning, you figure out who they are. It's just the crew list. That's as far as I know. I don't I don't think there's any other people. Do I know that's Winston? Uh yeah, because because this guy was because I saw him in the wooden... I saw him in the carpenter stuff. I saw him in the carpenter's area. And he was like sawing. So he's literally the carpenter because the other guy uh, who's in the... Who's like walking out of the room holding a carpenter's hammer. Later in the scene where this guy is killed, calls him boss. So you put all that together and you make him the carpenter and the other guy the boss. Uh, no, Hernoki, These unknowns... Unknowns, if you're talking about, like, who killed him, like, where is this, Paul Moss? Unknown up here simply means that you don't know who did it. So if I know it's an officer, I can say unknown officer. It's just for my notes, really. Like, I could say unknown steward. I could say unknown topman or whatever. These are, like, the fact that I, you know, they're just, like, I don't know who was involved, but not a name there. So that's not a person that we have yet to meet. That's all. Um... He's got to be Paul. That's got to be Paul. He's got to be killed by a sword. We just don't know who he's killed by. What other dude? Oh, what if, what if this guy, you mean, what if this guy is Paul? Um, the reason that's not true is because she says, Paul, look out. And it doesn't make any sense that she would say, look out to the guy who's actually stabbing. Also, this guy in an earlier scene was on the gun deck with a thing in his hand for a cannon. So you wouldn't have him as the steward. Also, he's wearing an outfit that stewards wear. So this guy has got to be a steward. And the only steward is, the name is Paul. And she's the one who says Paul. So it, he's got to be Paul. This guy's right. This guy's 100% right. I just don't know who this is. Which is annoying. And this guy is trying to get everyone... This is the captain who's trying to get everybody calmed down. And what happens is he stab. This guy stabs Paul. And then runs over here to basically try to get on the boat. And the woman, one of the women, either this woman or this woman, I don't remember which, shoots him. So in the very next sequence, he dies. And the captain by that point has gotten up to the stairs and he's holding his gun, but the bullet is not fired from his gun. You see the bullet coming from a rifle, I think, that is held by either this woman or this woman who shoots up at him. So this guy stabs this guy, tries to get on the boat and then is shot. But I don't, I don't know who this dude is. I mean, it's also possible, too, that he he might be a seaman and not a midshipman, but, like, 
In fact, he's probably not a midshipman, now that I think of it. He probably isn't. He probably is a seaman. But, which seaman is the question? Where did I just see Paul Moss? Steward, steward, steward. There we go. And he's not Russian. He's got an accent. He's got like a British accent or a Welsh accent. Now he's a dead shipman. Nathan Peters. Could be John Naples. Peter Brennan. Alexander Booth. O'Hagan. Actually, let me listen to his accent again, actually. Let me listen to his accent again. I'm going to come right back and do this again, because I want to hear that guy's accent. You guys can help me. Listen to his accent and see if we can figure out. Last one. Move quick. Last boat? What is that accent? Happy New Year, Ryu. You'll not take the last boat. You'll not take the last boat. That sounds, it sounds Irish, doesn't it? Doesn't that guy's accent sound Irish? Sounds like a dwarf. Listen again. Last one. Move quick. You'll not take the last boat. You'll not take the last boat. Yeah, he. I, yeah, it's not enough to say Irish. So, but I'm pretty sure he's a seaman, though. So, okay. Fortunately, that's not going to help very much. Oh, man. I don't know why they think it's so easy to figure out what happened to Paul Moss. Oi! Yeah, I think he's a seaman because of this. Because he's sitting with them. I think that he's a seaman because he's sitting with them. And that guy for sure is a seaman. I think that guy actually might be Nathan Peters. Do we have what happened to Nathan Peters? Now that I think of this. No, we don't know what happened to him. But anyway. Yeah. We know that because he's his brother, I'm pretty sure. So that's like... I don't know a whole lot about the midshipman, honestly. Um, that's the butcher sitting next to the cook, I hope. Whoops. Darn it. I don't know a whole lot about them. I know two of them have been taken out. Like, I've, I've already figured out two of them. Thomas Lankin and Charles Hurstick. I don't know who this last one is. Oh, wait a second, actually. Hold on, hold on now. Hold on. Hold on just a moment. All right. So that guy. Where's my boy Charles Hurstick? That guy should be the other midshipman. That's got to be the other midshipman, actually. Peter Milroy. But how did you die, Peter Milroy? 
you perished in the Doom Part 6. Let's find out. Yeah, it's really interesting, Mad Genius. Get to the main bit, quit, hold on, throw it, throw the powder. Alright, let's go find out what this is. Um, main deck. Now let's get out of here. I think I'll have just enough time to test this, and then I gotta give way for, uh, for Dizzy, who is going to be playing Deliver Us the Moon. And, uh, I think we can close down the raffle, Kilgore, if you wouldn't mind. I think we are ready to do that. Hooked on space games, indeed. Yep, another midshipman. Unknown. He was... burned? No. Oh, no, he wasn't crushed. What the hell was he? Was he shot? That's definitely Peter Milroy. Was he like... I think he was shot. No. That's not right. Hey, congratulations, KLR7. Congratulations, and thank you again, Kilgore uh, and Takanji, for running the rally... The, um... The rallies. Running the rallies. Running the raffles today. Okay. Um... What is this that I'm looking at? Does anyone know? I mean, so there's the Kraken. Throw the powder. What is that? We got ropes. Get to the main bit quick. Hold on. Oh, awesome, KLR. That's awesome. Did he blow up? Is there a blow up option? Oh. Okay. That's got to be an explosion. Okay. But then if that's right, that means that I've got the others wrong. <laughs> Who do I have wrong? That's got to be... That's the only remaining midshipman. He's wearing the same outfit that the rest of them are. I mean, that means... I don't understand it. Okay. So here's the thing. He's got to be... It's explosion... He exploded, and he was the last midshipman on the ship. Okay, so that's, we got that. So he's clear. Then we get these guys. These guys are 100%, unless I have them reversed. Unless Winston Smith is the carpenter's mate and Marcus Gibbs is the carpenter, which I suppose is possible. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta give up. I gotta go because I gotta, I want to figure out how to do this. I really, the only thing I don't like about this game is that I find the UI very confusing. It's, it's not clear to me what I'm doing because what I'd like to do is try to switch these pictures and I don't know how to do that. Okay. Now I figured it out, I think. I got it! I got it! I reversed them! I reversed them! The mate and the other one. Yes! I got them! Nice! Woo! Alright, I'm not an idiot. I'm like, what? I'm like, I know it! I'm like, I know they got spiked! But I just reversed them. Nice. I totally misread them. That is a good way to finish. Woo! Okay. So that means that we're left with this. And that means that next time when we play, 
we will have now a lot of these ones are all like i don't know what the hell but that's okay because at least i got ones that are sort of locked into place and that also cuts out those other ones although those ones were the ones i was pretty confident about anyways that's right all right i'm not an idiot <laughs> anyway good stuff i i really hope people are enjoying this as much as i am because i am absolutely enjoying this quite a bit um okay how do i wait yes oh i have to get out of here so i can quit all right wait i gotta get out of here so i can quit where's the exit gotta get out of here get out get out get out get out get out okay good all right uh there we go quits title and good all right there we go Nice. I hope you folks have been enjoying this a lot. I've actually, this, this, uh, it gets, sometimes I'm a little bit like brain melt, but if you get it where you sort of nail some of these ones down there, that, that's very satisfying to get the three fates at a time where you're like, blam. So, um, it was, yeah, like that's, that's, that makes a big difference. So anyway, um, that is going to do it for me. Uh, I want to thank everyone for being awesome today. And now I have to give way to Dizzy Plays, um, who is going to introduce those of you on UTC uh, is going to introduce you to brand new uh, year because it is 2020 in about two minutes as of UTC. So I want to wish everybody a very happy new year. I will be back here next week uh, with Pen and Pixels and more of the game that you just saw um, playing it. And I want to wish everyone a wonderful end of 2019 and beginning of 2020. If I can add a personal note, I want to thank all of the wonderful GOG streamers who are family members to me. I want to thank everyone who made this an awesome year. Um, the uh, It was not always an easy year. There were difficult parts to it as well. Um, but I'm looking forward to 2020 and to a much better year ahead. So thanks to everybody. Much love to all of you. Be safe today if you are celebrating and all that kind of good stuff. And I will see uh, all of you wonderful people either on my channel on Friday for Masters of the Dungeon, my D&D roundtable, followed by uh, some Jedi Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, which is awesome. Or I will see you back here next Tuesday um, for uh, Pen and Pixels on GOG as we move into 2020. But thanks to all of you. Thanks to everyone. Stick around for Dizzy Plays and uh, Deliver Us the Moon. Thank you as well to Takanji and Kilgore truck for running raffles and i will see all of you lovely people soon happy new year and bye bye for now see ya